Hello everybody and welcome to the Sonoma Raceway for the 16th race of our NASCAR E5 2023 mod career mode and our second on a road course as we look to back up our dominant mid-Ohio victory in our last event as at the road course. And now we already see our stories of the race for today's Toyota Save Mart 350. And Christopher Bell, as we know, is a rival. That's what they're, they're saying here. And they're saying Alex Bowman does not look like himself. He's a bit slow today, so he'll be towards the back of the field. And Joy Logano, failed pre-race inspection. Logano will be starting at the rear of the field as we get ready to get underway. And our number 99 Gatorade Chevrolet here for Trackhouse Racing at Sonoma. Coming down the front straight away in front of us, you'll notice, making his, his career debut here in the NASCAR Cup Series. He's going to be the 91 of Shane Van Gisbergen making his debut. SVG in that 91 right in front of us right now in 16th at Sonoma. Track he's never raced that before. Trying to go running the outside side of SVG getting around him and Hamlin on the outside of Stenhouse and the inside of Ty Gibbs making some beautiful moves up here through turn one and two already up in the 13th place already not messing around we're trying to get as many positions as possible early in this race as you know on these road courses the next gen car it is very hard to pass so we're being extra aggressive in the 11th now getting around Austin Dillon on the back of the four of Kevin Harvick for 10th we now go underneath him and William Byron getting to ninth with that pass get a little bump to Tyler Reddick heading into the inner portion of the road course here Reddick still right in front of us as we're still using the old 2020 layout for Sonoma due to it being NASCAR E5 and not any new modern game that would have the current layout the Cup Series uses as we get very loose there but we get aggressive get around Reddick for 8th got a rival Michael McDowell looking to take 6th place away from Austin City we get a beautiful exit of the corner up through the gears we go back down the straightaway here McDowell we're pushing hard pushing hard trying to get this position now 3 wide of the 34 and the 2 we dive it into this corner the tight breaking zone we go wild the 20 is going to spin Christopher Bell goes around the 20 wipes out in front of us gets us a couple of free spots now we're in the top 5 and 5th place here a beautiful charge to the front here in Sonoma now we just have to find a way to get around 4th place AJ Allmendinger Chase Elliott in 3rd Kyle Larson in 2nd and race leader Christopher Busher in the 17 for RFK Racing right now but we got P5 locked up right now, doing a solid job maintaining our position. Being in contention, we go way wide here, going through the final couple of corners. This is one of those hard corners to get through that corner, head leading up to this final hairpin here at Sonoma, which we dive in deep through the hairpin, but down shifts enough down to third gear, get up through, back up through the gears, down to the straightaway to get back to start finish on the complete lap one of racing. We'll be in the fifth position on the racetrack. Now, a little bit later, the 24, William Byron gets right underneath the 24, looking for fifth or some contact. Byron slides, we slide next to the corner. We're racing hard. I'm trying to maintain a top five position right now. William putting pressure on us now as we go through the first initial corners of this racetrack. We hit the curb, they're getting very loose through the sand, but we cleared Byron. Maintain the race lead into this heavy braking zone corner. We push it a little bit too hard. We go wide, off we go. We go sliding, almost wrecking into the barrier. We save it. We correct the car, but we lose a ton of momentum and lose multiple positions now as Byron gets by us and McDowell will get by us as well as we fall down to seventh. Strength along right now again. The 34 McDowell, we wipe us both out. Around we go. Me and McDowell once again coming together. We got a downshift to get back up through the gears. An absolute disaster for us here in Sonoma. We wipe out, drop all the way down to 12th place. Now I'm just trying to fight to get back into any stage points position. McDowell and Hamlin fighting for 10th right in front of us. We can at least get one stage point. But a disaster class there. Losing seven spots and only a few corners. Going from 5th to 12th. After multiple mistakes, we get into Michael McDowell again. Almost wipe us both out. This time we go wide. We just squeeze him up out of room. Use him and Denny up. Take the 10th spot. Move McDowell and Hamlin out of the way. Now we're into the top 10. Now we're down to 11th again. Through there. We give the bumper to Michael McDowell and he goes wide. We get into him once again. Getting physical for this position. Myself and Michael McDowell for the second race in a row. Getting really physical with each other. Battling hard for track position stage points getting into once again more contact being made between myself and 34 we will take the position now we're into ninth as we run around center get around eighth on harvick shove him way off the course we go off the course trying to get by reddick for seventh being super aggressive the end of the day we go underneath tyler reddick using the sand to our advantage we clear reddick and take the seventh position here as we come through to finish seventh in stage one as christopher busher is your stage one winner he'll get a playoff point we come home to seventh for a solid four stage points after a lot of hard, aggressive, physical battles with multiple drivers inside the top 10 late in that run. So now we pit, we restart in the fifth position right behind the Hendrick cars of Larson and Elliott with Busher and Byron being on the front row. So we got the Hendrick Brigade right here up in the mix. We're going to go three wide underneath the five and the nine, get by both of them, use the bumper into the back of the 17 of Busher. He slides around, goes Busher. He spins, your stage one winner goes around, losing all of that track position. 
He had fought so hard, but now we gotta read the 9th Elliot. He slides. He's gonna save it behind us. We're in the Larson getting physical. We get by him for a second. Got underneath William Byron way too deep in the corner. They'll overshoot the corner. Fall back in as Larson takes the lead now. Byron gets around us for a second as we were way, way too aggressive down the start of that stage trying to get this track position. But you know, we really can't chase down these guys. We get underneath William though. Get by Byron and take second. Now the question is, can we chase down the five of Kyle Larson? The answer to that question is no. He's pulled 3.4 seconds ahead of us. Coming to the end of stage two. Here's we slide way off there. A little bit too aggressive going over the curbs through the S's. We merge back on the track. Lose a ton of momentum. Ty Gibbs gets around us for second. We fall down to the third position on the racetrack. And a caution has come out. It looks like it's for Ricky Stenhouse Jr. as a caution has come out. Now making a very interesting end to the stage. We're going to stay out, of course, maintain our track position. Restart in third. Now we're going to have a shot at this stage one victory. Sorry, the stage two victory. We just have to find a way around Larson and Gibbs and just try to maintain that lead here uh, for a short dash. Only going to be three laps inside the stage two winner. Larson leading, Gibbs second, myself third, sitting fourth. We go through out of the inside of Larson and Gibbs. We send it, we get aggressive. We clear them through turn two. A beautiful move right there. We get the lead here and so we go a little wide though. Now Ty Gibbs is going to take the lead back. How about the rookie? The 54 of Gibbs leading this race. We are right behind him trying our best to get to the 54, get to the back of Gibbs. We slide sideways, hang on to it. Which we do. Now we get to the bumper of Gibbs. Big push. He goes around. We spin the 54 of Gibbs. We wipe him out into the heavy braking zone. I think that's turn five. It just wipes out the 54. And definitely not what we wanted to do right there. And now McDowell and Larson have both gotten back around us. And we slot back into the third position. Trying to chase Larson and McDowell down once again to get back into the lead. Here we try to get the stage win. Another playoff point to our cause. That was just a mistake on my part. Way too deep in the corner. Cleaned out the 54. Because now we do it once again. This time we slam the 5 of Larson. And this time it's Michael McDowell. McDowell's a rival. So honestly at this point I don't care about him. So we just keep using him up. And we take the lead right back. Getting physical with Michael McDowell and Kyle Larson. We'll take the race lead back here at the Sonoma Raceway. Coming to the end of stage 2. Now we come through to win stage two here in Sonoma. Now there's some physical contact with the leaders, McDowell and Larson. Of course, our stage points, McDowell, Larson, Cindric, Truex get some points. As does Byron, Hamlin, Harvick, Elliott, and Almendinger. So you get a stage two win. You play a point. Now you restart here in the final stage of racing. We restart in the race. The lead beat Larson back to lines. Myself in the five here in this front row. Now he's got to hold on. To this race lead and we should be able to hold off Kyle Larson hopefully and get ourselves to our ninth win of the season which would be tremendous for us really kicking off we've already won half, half of the races at this point anyway a uh, dominant start to our career and to this opening season of the career mode here in Sonoma but Larson though right behind us putting some pressure on us coming to be oh we get a little way too aggressive into that corner we go way off the course and there goes the five Larson takes the lead back we're still hopping over the, all the sand humps and everything down to fourth now as Cindric and Truex both going to get around us for positions. Now we send it both underneath the both of them. Get into the two. No, we don't hit him. Though we overshoot him. Go right by him. Getting aggressive through the inner loop here. As we, now we go down this straightaway. The drag strip having the heavy, heavy braking zone. We somehow got to the outside of the two as Cindric went wide and made the pass. Cleared him. The heavy braking here into these uh, this portion of the course here as we go through the uh, loop right there and now we catch up to the five Kyle Larson entering the S's as we just went through the carousel now through the S's we go very aggressive on the curbs very sideways but we hung on to it that time better than the last time and still trying to chase down Kyle Larson that five is driving away now one almost one and a half seconds ahead of us already here in Sonoma he might just be too quick to stop here Larson leads. I try to send it aggressively into the hairpin to try to catch up. Downshifting all the way down to second gear. But not quite enough to catch up to that five of Kyle Larson. Just so good at these road courses. We just can't quite catch up to him. Larson leads here in this final stage of racing. We settle down in second all the way from 11 to go here. Coming to only like four or five last to go in this race. It's time for green fly pit stop. So we're going to go way too fast. We're going to be caught speeding on pit road. Way too fast in the pits. We absolutely just sold. Fumbled the bag of a solid second place finish. Maybe even a win if we played some strategy. But now we absolutely botched it and screwed ourselves by speeding on pit road. It's going to be an extra 15 seconds in the pit box. And it's going to cost us so much time on the racetrack. Luckily, we had a huge gap back. Me and, me and third place had a huge gap back to fourth and fifth. So we should still be hopefully in the top five, top ten. 
when we come out of the pits after this penalty. I'm decided to get barely enough fuel to make it to the end and four tires. So it's going to be a 30 second pit stop because of the penalty. Absolutely disastrous for us. So the pick we're doing the work. They get the tires done. Now we sit here and accept our fate with this penalty. Larson's already long gone back on the racetrack. He should win this race, no problem. Still got another five seconds sitting here. There goes Denny Hamlin going by us. That's another position. SVG pulls him right in front, nearly hits us. What is SVG trying to do, man? So we come out in fourth. Not bad, not bad. We come back out on the track in fourth place after a speeding penalty, which is honestly we'll take it. Fourth is still good, but the win is definitely out the window now. Kyle Larson's got it in the bag. And McDowell secured second. Hamlin third. We're still back here in fourth. Going through the hairpin later that lap. Here comes the nine of Chase Elliott. Now putting some pressure on us for this fourth spot. Elliott trying to get to fifth. He gets it into us. He moves us out of the way. Elliott, a newly formed rival, getting physical. Moving us out of the way. Of course, he is one of the best of the business on these road courses. He's got physical with us. Two laps to go here in Sonoma. We are trying to get back by him here. So heading to these first couple corners of the racetrack. We go a little wide there. Get aggressive through this corner. Into the bumper of the nine. Hard lick right there. We get into Elliott. We Get into him right there to save him from completely spinning out. But we take fourth back from the nine chase side, getting very physical with that contact. They're showing our frustration that he ran us almost into the wall there, coming out of the hairpin on that last lap. Now through his braking zone that we continue to mess up every time. We've always screwed up here. We go a little wide. We go find that corner, but Elliot drives right into my door right there. Almost spins me into the wall. And that is it, man. Chase Telly is absolutely getting If I get back to him, that 9 car is going around. I am frustrated with him right now. So we, I dive aggressively underneath the 17 of Chris Busher. Get physical. Give him the boot. Get him out of the way. Get into 5th place. I'm going after Chase Telly right now. He has absolutely poked the bear. And he, he's going to get it now. His white flag. Final lap. So my Colonel Bank here at the Sonoma Raceway. It looks like Kyle Larson is going to win this race. Get into the playoffs. Be our 8th different winner through 16 races. As the playoff spots are starting to fill up here. Only 10 more races after this until the playoffs. And a caution has come out. The race will end under caution. And so Kyle Larson is your winner. We will come home with a very respectable top five finish here at Sonoma after a hard-fought effort that was ruined by a speeding penalty. So Larson, of course, your winner. He gets in the playoffs here at Sonoma. Michael McDowell, your runner-up. Denny Hamlin in third. Chase Elliott fourth. We come home in fifth. Disappointing nonetheless, but it's still a good finish. Chris Busher sixth. William Byron 7th, Austin Cindric 8th, Harvick 9th, and Ty Gibbs runs out your top 10 here in Sonoma. You see 11th through 20th in the race results. Shout out to Shane Van Gisbergen in his debut coming home in 19th position. Then 21st through 30th, and of course 31st through 40th with the DNS being Andy Lally and JJ Yaley. So now you see updated point standings. We should still be up there in the points with a comfortable regular season points lead, which we do over Chase Lake. Send that to 151 points now. Of course, we still have Logano, Chastain, Harvick, Truex locked in the playoffs as Bell and McDowell. But Larson joins us now as eight winners this season. And then Hamlin, Blaney, Byron are in the playoffs on points, as well as Kyle Busch, A.J. Allmendinger, Brad Kozlowski, and Christopher Busher. With Austin Cindric, Austin Dillon, Bubba Wallace, and Tyler Reddick being the first four drivers out. And now you see the rest of the standings from 21st down to 40th. And the fastest lap of the race today went to Ty Gibbs, the rookie, with a 134-304. A very solid lap for Gibbs right there. Then Larson, of course, dominated this racing 15 laps, most of anybody. He was the man to beat. We, could, we couldn't even beat him. Then Ryan Blaney on the move up 22 spots from 33rd to 11th. And the tough break going to go to Austin Dillon, minus 16, down from 11th to 27th. Tough day in the office for him. Now we head back. And we have a story of the week where angry drivers are restrained from attacking us right now, stating that I am the absolute worst because they hate my guts and they hate my driving. Well, too bad for them. I am not stopping because we're doing whatever it takes to win. That's our mentality. You have eight rivals now. Kyle Larson and Ty Gibbs are now out of the rest. So now our rivals are Gibbs, Larson, Kozlowski, Hamlin, Bell, McDowell, Elliott, and Blaney. We're just racking them up left and right here. Not what we want to be doing. And then on the friends side, we still have friends in Van Gisbergen, Hosevar, Almendinger, and Austin Hill. We're going to try to keep it that way as we head into the next race at the Kentucky Speedway, which of course is replacing Nashville as Nashville is not in the game. So we have the playoff grid. We have eight wins. We are easily in the playoffs right now. Out of the nine winners we have, sorry, then it's Elliott, Logano, Chastain, Harvick, Truex, Larson, Bell, and Michael McDowell are our nine different winners this season. 
with Denny Hamlin, Blaney, Byron, Kyle Busch, AJ Allmendinger, and the two RFK Fords holding the last two spots on points. Busher 15 above Austin Cedric at the cut line. Austin Dillon out by 20. Bubba Wallace out by 23. Reddick out by 29. And Haley out by 34. So until the next episode of Kentucky, I hope you all have a good one.